Hi guys, uh, it's David here. So <clears throat> on our list, last video, we had a question uh, from this guy. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but he was asking because our last video was, it's a menu. Let me show it to you guys. So it's a menu that you can hover and select your selections here, right? And when you unhover, it's gonna disappear. So what I think what what he was asking is, instead of having those five or six groups, because how we did this is, we have these groups, right? Like this. I think what he was asking is, if we can make this dynamic, right? So instead of five or six groups, can we have like a one dynamic setting? So basically it's gonna be, I'm, what I'm thinking is it's a repeating group, right? So for this one, instead of just one text here, like, I mean, two, four, six menu here, it's just gonna be a repeating group where we have a list of repeating group and we can display this here like this. So it's gonna be dynamic menu, right? So, and when you hover here, <clears throat> there's gonna be a, another repeating group, which is on this group. It's gonna display whatever sub menu on this main menu here. So I was doing my research and I was practicing. So I'm, I'm gonna try to demo it today, but it's, I'm still not an expert on this one, so because I just did it, I just did this once. I'm gonna show you guys what I did, which is I did this dynamic here. So this this is gonna be a, a repeating group, and what I what we're doing is the the source of the repeating group is gonna be an option set because it's just it's a, it's a menu anyway. So the user it's not gonna add more menu, right? So, and if it's option set, it's gonna be faster. So this is what I did. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. Uh, so this is the menu here. And when you hover, there's a sub menu and there's a sub menu here. So for example, here, there's nothing here on these three sides here. So on the data option set, this is the main menu that we have here. And the sub menu is gonna be another, I call it sub menu. The main one I'm created as nav. And the sub menu is gonna be this name, but it's gonna be linked to this main menu, right? So for example, here, the, the inspiration here, so there's only, one and two. So if I update this, if I add another one, which is C, for example, I'm gonna move this up so I can like group them here, right? But it doesn't matter. As long as you modify this and your menu, main menu is gonna be the inspiration, it should show up on the inspiration, right? So this sub menu, it's gonna be linked to this main insp inspiration here, which is when you go here, it's not giving me this. The reason why is, I, I, I did another thing here is, because when I'm creating an option, shep, option set menu, I create an actual name. So actual name is gonna be the one that's gonna be di displaying here, right? The reason is sometimes I use menu as uh, like uh, what do you call this? Custom state. Well, it's gonna give you give us uh, parameters here, and I don't want to use like a <clears throat> like a capital letter and a small and a space. You know, it's just gonna complicate the link. So basically, I, I create this. For example, if I have a custom state with inspiration tab, uh, 
tab, for example, like this one, GoPro, instead of doing GoPro as your custom state, it's just going to complicate the parameters. That's the, that's, the re that's the reason why I put this. So this is going to be the, the menu and the parameters and the, the actual display, it's going to be the, dis the name that's going to display. So what we're going to do is the one I just created, which is this, I'm going to modify and I'm going to put an actual name here. You can also add an icon here if you want. Uh, for now, we don't have to do that. Save. So now when we refresh this, it should give us option C, right? And the icons I'm using here is just the default uh, bubble icon, which is if you go here, icon. So if I go, for example, house, right? So if, I'm, if, if I want to add that, uh, icon there. I just have to copy the icon name, like home. So I can delete this now. So if I go to, and I can just type it because I'm using an, uh, I think it's fabulous icon or awesome icon. So if I put that icon there, so now it's gonna give us those icons, like the home icon. I, I think I used the same thing here. So if you if you look at this, it's home icons, right? And how I formatted the, the submenu is going to be a, a repeating, no, what do you call it? A re reusable. Okay, so how I formatted our Right now, I'm just showing you how I did it, but I'm gonna, sh I'll walk you through. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the demo how I created this. And right here, this is the 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 icon, right? It's gonna be a dynamic pulling from our pulling from our <clears throat> data option set. And I just put it like a, this is like a command where you put the icons, awesome icon, then I just put like a space there, and then dynamic, the actual name of the, the icon. So for here, this is the icon, and this is gonna be the display. So if you go here, it's gonna be a cog, right? And if I wanna change this, for example, because I'm using the same thing, and if you don't know like what kind of icon do you, you wanna use, you can just go to icon here and you can select from the bubble default icon and you can just okay for example we want to use I don't know maybe for example I want to use this snapchat icon so it's just going to give you like this text here it's the name of the icon. So what I do is I just copy this. Just from here after the FA dash. So goes copy. And if I go back to our C, which is earlier I put it as a home. Now if I save that, it's going to give us the the Snapchat, uh, yeah, Snapchat icon here. So that's how I did this one. You can do it this different way. Maybe you can create like an actual icon there, and you can just link it to the to the to the option set. But I just did this because it's easier for me. You know, you can just create like one text box, and you can just put the icon space then the name. Okay, let's try this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna delete everything I did, right? So this is this is the repeating group, and I'm gonna delete this. This is the one I did for for the repeating group for the sub menu. 
it's, I mean, it's a reusable. So here I'm just going to delete this. So now we don't have any, any of those now, right? So if we go back to dynamic, now it's empty. Okay, let's let's work on this one. And let me show you guys first how I created this submenu. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna delete everything here. Delete, and the menu, I'm gonna delete this. So we're starting from empty, okay? So first, what, what we need is the main menu, right? So from the last video, uh, we created this inspiration, fine work, and so this text right here. So what I'm going to, I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to retype it. So I'm going to copy this and go to create. So when I'm creating an option set, I'm using as an underscore so I know it's an option set. You can use whatever name naming convention you want, but I'm just going to do main nav, okay? So that's our main navigation. Main nav. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the first one is inspiration. And what I'm going to do is, let me see, dribble. So I can just copy it from here. Copy, and then go to option. Again, so I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to create another attribute here, which is the actual name that I was talking about. So this is the text that we're going to display on our menu. Right, so it's just text. So this is inspiration, and when I modify this, I'm going to put an actual name here, which is inspiration. Okay, and then find work. Display is fine. Okay, let's do the other. I'm just copying this because I'm lazy to retype them. Okay, so I'm going to create this, modify, paste it here. Learn design. Go pro. Marketplace. So this is this is our main menu, right? The one on top. So let's see. Marketplace. And the last one is so if this if I'm go going too fast, you can just uh slow down the video, I guess. So so this is now our main menu, right? So now we can create this menu here on top now, and we can just add this later. So if we go to dynamic here, I can put a repeating group. So this repeating group, I'm going to put it inside this group right here, the dribble. Floating left, I think it's where it is. Floating left. 
if I move this here, now it's inside here, okay? And I want just one row, right? Because we only have one row here. One row. And the column, we don't know. Maybe we have like eight or four menu. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this 100%. Okay. And the layout I want is the width, it's going to be, right now, let's just do 200 for now. But the height, I want it to be 60. Right? I want it to be like here, like from top to bottom. The reason why, the reason why I'm not doing the min and height, I want I want this to be perma like fixed. So when we hover on the other side, basically the height is not changing, right? Depends on the content. So when we go to the sub menu, it's not gonna jump. Okay, that's the reason why I'm doing this. So sixty. That's our repeating group, right? Let's just call this nav main. So from here, this nav here, the source is this main nav, okay? And we want all the thing, all, basically all the menu, right? So now we can display, I mean, we can display this, but it's still not going to be there because we have to put the text, right? So let, let me put the text real quick here on the repeating group and what what I want on that group is the current this actual name okay and I want I want to format this so it's not this one is row the repeating group and I want this to be in the center And I want this to be fixed, 60. I want the text to be in the middle. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try dynamic, okay. So we're doing something wrong here, okay. So if we go to the repeating group, 100% show all items immediately. So it's not going to scroll. Hmm. Gonna take this thing off. Now that we already have a content there, we can just make it make the fit make the width fit the content, right? Whatever content we have there, it's gonna display everything. Hmm, why is it not displaying? Five hundred. So it's there. I want the repeating group to be fit to content, but I want the text to be fit to content also. Okay. Now it's there. So, but we still have spaces here, right? So I don't want the separado on the I'm going to remove this. I don't want the separado, so none. And um, 
I don't know why the spacing is like that, but let's see. I want that text to fit the content, and I want the repeating group to fit the content. And I want the text to be in the middle. Okay, that's weird a little bit because there's like a s big spaces there. Let's see how can we get rid of that. So the text fit the content, that's correct. Fit the content. And the repeating group fit the content. Interesting. If I make this middle, there's something going on here. Let me copy this text and put it here outside. Let me see if it's going to fit. Copy. Paste. Just want to make sure that the te this text is fitting to content. Menu, I'm going to push that to 100. Fit the content. Menu, okay. So we know that this thing is feeding the content, okay? The repeating group with 100%. Okay. Let's stretch the column. Okay, I'm not sure about this checking. Showing, I think, immediate all of them is fine. But I think this thing right here, it's giving a space. So it says stretch column to fill the hor horizontal space. So I think, I guess we don't want that because it's giving us a lot of spaces in between. It's not the same. So I'm going to uncheck this. And now we want to put a space here. We're, we're just going to put a padding inside this repeating group. So 20 or margin, no, padding, I'm sorry, margin 20, 20 between each repeating group, right? Uh, repeating label. So there you go. 
You can put 20 or maybe 10. Depends on how you prefer, like how the spacing you want. So I think 10 is fine, right? 10, 10, 10, 10. But, but now, the, the way we can put the menu, the submenu here, the reason why I, I created a, a repeating group, because you cannot really add a group focus here. Let me demo it to you guys and link it to this. Because you can only reference this to one text. But when you have a repeating group, you, you want this different text to link to the, I mean, you want the group focus to link to each one, right? For each menu. The reason why we're doing that is because when you're outside the repeating re reusable element, you cannot really reference this to the actual text here. Maybe you can, but see, you cannot ref reference this to the actual text. I mean, actual text. I think you can reference it to the repeating group, which when you're doing a repeating group, it, I think there's the, so for example here, When I say hover on this repeating group, condition is true every time, right? When this thing is hover, then we want to show this one. I'm going to color this one now. I'm just showing it to you guys because this is the problem I had before. Is when you have, so you go, you want to show a. You know what I mean? This thing is linked to the repeating group here. And you cannot link this group focus to each text outside reusable element. That's why the reason why I did this in, re, in reusable element. Because in reusable element, you can group that label. I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm mumbling right now, but I'm just, giving, I'm just showing it to you guys that you cannot link this group focus here. That's why I, I created a reusable element. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. And another thing is, I'm 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 gonna delete this text because we're displaying this on the reusable element. So let me change the width of this repeating group for now for three hundred, so just so we can put the the reusable element there after we create it. So here. Okay, I'm going to create a reusable element. I'm going to call it submenu, okay? Submenu. And I'm not going to clone anything. So this is our repeatable element. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to put 324 now and height 60. Okay. I want this to be responsive. Okay. So 330, height 60. So this is what I'm talking about. Uh, <clears throat> first, I'm going to put a group. Here, which I'm gonna, it doesn't matter here. I think we can just create this as column. And we want the width 
right now let's put 300 and again make this fix a 60 that's the group right there right so now we can put the text here so this group we can make it as type of content is the main menu okay and the data we want to display all of them but for this group right here we just want the parent okay hold on this is the group the text the text is current cell, parent. So we want this to expand. And we want the height to be fixed, 60. Just let me know if I'm not making any sense or you have any question about this process. So we created a group where we can link the content, right? And the text is going to be the parent group name, okay? And then we're going to put a focus group, which is from for the submenu. I know this is a little bit complicated, so bear with me. Focus. And I'm going to reference this to the, this text right here. Right? Remember before, we cannot link this to the text when on, we're on the main menu, but on the repeating group, for some reason, you can link it to the actual text. So now I'm just going to make this column. There's a bug here on the on bubble, so I'm just going to have to hide, then uh, click it again so it appears. So now I can make the width to be minimum 320 and the height, let's just put 200 for now, but why is it too, oh. let's make it max 320. Okay, so now this group right here, we want this group, so this is the, the submenu, now we can design this, right? So now it's either you know what we, what we can do is we can put an actual icon here. So now it, the bug is disappeared. Like, again, you just have to go back, hide, then show. So we have an icon. We have a text. Again. So we want this to, to be grouped row we want the row we want this to be row right because we want the icon on the left the text on the right so we want this to be make it first and we want this group to expand all the way and we want this text to be in the middle. We want this icon to be in the middle. I'm gonna put the icon to be 20 by 20, but it's in the middle. And I want this, I wanna put a padding. Can I put a padding on this group?
group focus group. Padding 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay. So now we have this. We want this to be expanding. We want this to be just the exact, exact height of the text. And we want this in the middle. So both of them are in the middle. But we want like a space in between the icon and the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this space in between and maybe put it like a 20 gap. Okay. So now this is our menu, right? And we want actually this menu to be in a repeating group because we just want one menu and whatever, how many submenu we have it's just going to repeat okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a repeating group inside this group here and we can move this the one we already designed to that group okay repeating group again click unclick so we can show this and we just want one row right but we want 100% because we want to show all, all the submenu that we have. So now we can move this if I can move let me make this 200 for now. So I can just move it here inside this menu. Again, this is getting annoying. This. So now that's our repeating group. You want it to expand all the way. And we want this group here inside the repeating group. We want the group to be column, fit height, and we want this to go all the way. I'm trying to make this go all the way there. And this is 60. So that's that. The repeating group is fit to content. And now we want our main focus to fit the content. So I'm going to delete this now. Boom. So what's going to happen is we're going to link this to the main menu here. We don't have the data yet, but whatever, how many sub menu is just going to display here. Let's just do that for now. Let's add the sub menu. I'm not going to add too much here. Maybe two here and two here, right? So let's create a sub menu. So this submenu, it's going to have display name, which is a text. And it's going to have another at attribute, which is the main menu. Let's just call it main. And it's going to be the actual main menu that we have, right? Because we want the sub menu to be linked to the main menu. Okay. So now let's just create in okay, let's inspiration maybe ins a inspiration a. 
I know I'm not too creative with these names. I'm just going to create Inspiration A, but I'm going to modify this, which is Inspiration A. And the main menu is Inspiration. And I'm going to add another one, Inspiration B. And I'm going to modify it again. The name is going to be Inspiration B. And the main menu is Inspiration. Okay. So now we can create another one, which is Fine Work. I'm going to create Fine Work. Modify this. Fine Work. A in the main menu is fine work. So this is a fine work A. And I'm gonna create another one which is B. Modify it. Fine work. Okay. So these submenus here, these two submenus, their main their, their main menu is this. Okay? And these two submenu here, their main menu is this. And their display this submenu here, their display name is this. I think we need another uh, attribute here which is icon, right? Icon and I'm going to call it text because we're going to show that icon as a text. I'm going to show you how to format it later. So it's just text. So now we'll add the icon later. So here if we go I'm just going to duplicate this. From our, I don't know if you guys last watched the, the last video. To du duplicate an item, you just do Control D. So I just press Control. Oops. This thing is confusing me now. What did I just delete? So if I delete something here, it's going to disappear. Okay. So now this is going to be our icon, right? I'm just going to make this icon and I'm going to create this as display. Display name. So the icon, I want this to be fixed width, which is 20 by 20. And the command for the icon is, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to create one here, which is, Cog, I know, I, I know that's the, the like the cog menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go FA dynamic parent. Let's set up the parent data first to the repeating group, which is sub menu all data. Okay. Actually, not all data. <laughs> not all data because when we hover here, what we're going to do is we're going to send whatever the submenu of this main menu to this group, okay? We're going to do that through workflow. So now here I'm just going to go parent display group is submenu. So the repeating group is submenu, the group is submenu, and now this text is the display. And now <clears throat> this text is the icon. And then I'm just going to put slash fa. That's the command, like fa, and whatever the text, which is cog, what we put cog, 
the name of the icon, and it's gonna, we're going to close it with that. I hope this, I'm making sense on this thing, so. We know that this group, this repeating group, is a submenu, right? But there's no data yet. The data source is not there. We just know that it's a submenu. The way we can send the menu here is through the, the group, I mean the workflow. And now this group is also a submenu. We're just doing maybe here current submenu, basically whatever the current submenu of this main data here, the repeating. And now here we're just picking up from this group here. So this repeating group is empty because we haven't sent a data yet, but it's gonna we know it's gonna be a submenu. So now let's send the data. So here, we put, the, the way we show this is when this text, when this text is hover, now if you guys watched the last video, now we know what to do from here, right? When this text is hover, okay? Now we're going to create a con true condition here, which is every time. So now we know that every time that text is hovered, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to send display the list of the repeating group, right, to the to the uh, group focus A here. Maybe we can put this group focus sub. What I'm going to do is I'm going to display I'm going to display the repeating group sub submenu list, right, to this, and we're going to show the group focus sub. So first, what we did is, when we hover on this thing, we're going to send the data of the submenu of this main thing to this group, which is what we did here. I don't know if that's correct, but we'll find out, right? And then show the submenu, right? You hover and it's gonna show. But first we can we now that we're done here, we can put this repeating group, or I mean reusable group to this repeating group here. Okay. So this is the one we have. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go to the repeating group. I'm going to click it in there, okay? So now on our floating group here on the left, we have that repeating group. This repeating group here, it's just repeating this uh, reusable element, which is this one right here, which is the actual name of the main menu. So it's going to repeat whatever the content here, which is this. I know this is getting complicated. Now it's going to display all this. So let's try if that's going to work first. So we have a repeating group, which is the main menu. The repeating group here right, which is the source is the main menu, and it's going to display it through this submenu here. Okay, let's, let's try this. It's not working, of course. 
So let's try to troubleshoot this. The repeating group. I want this to be 100% now. I'm going to change this to 100%. And one row. And I want this sub menu here to be fit content and it's sixteen and it's gonna be in the middle. Okay. Repeating group. We want to fit the content. Hundred percent no separado. Sub menu. No height fix. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Let's go back to the sub menu here. The sub menu, the reusable element. We want the content to be main. Let's see. We want the content to be main. The reusable element. Content to be main, and the group, we want it to be main, but the source is going to be parent menu. So the group here, is, we know that it's going to be a main men, main nav, but it's coming from the repeating group from outside, which is coming from here, the repeating group here. And we set that repeating group this repeating group here to be the main menu, right? So now we're passing this information to the group, which is here. which is the reusable, it's a main menu. We know that's the data that's going to be there. But the source is going to be the parent group, which is coming from that repeating group on outside. So let's see if this is going to work. OK, it's still not working. So now we know that this is going to be repeating group from outside. Now the text is going to be the parent. Actual name. So we want this main menu to fit. We want this text to expand. Okay. Hmm.
So the reusable element is a main menu. It's a main menu. Then we're going to pass the group as a main menu again. And the source data is the parents main menu and the text it's going to be the parents main menu name why is it not displaying hmm It's on the floating. The repeating group. Repeating group. The data is all main menu. And the sub menu. The data, this is the disconnect, I think. The data is going to be the current, the current data of that sub of that main menu. Let's try. There. Now we can display this, right? But we can format this now and maybe add a padding on this repeating group. Let's add a margin here, 20. I think we did 10 earlier. OK, now we can display this. So now all we have to do is when we hover here, it's going to show the submenu. So let's do that. So we know that this, is, this thing is picking up from our data here. So if I want to change this, for example, inspiration, right? I want to put inspiration A, 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 right? So we know that it's going to go inspiration A, 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 A here. So we know not, not all this information is getting from our database. So now we, all we have to do is when we hover each of this, it should show the group focus with the submenu. Okay, let's go to the repeating group. So when you hover here, we want to display. Let me see. Let me clear this stuff up. Okay, when we hover this, first we want to display the data of this submenu. So, display data. Of the group, display it to focus. When I hover that, okay, let's do the data, the displaying first for now. When I hover here, I want this group focus to show up. I want it to show group focus. Okay. Let's do th this one at a time. So now, since the group focus is empty, it's giving that in that thing. So let's just make this height two hundred and make it to be gray a little bit so that we can see that our 
finger is working, okay? So now we're just displaying it. So it's displaying, but it's not disappearing, right? So now the other thing we have to do is, if you watch the last video is, do every time, what are we doing? The text here. If it's not hovered, if this text is not hovered, then we want that element to hide, right? The group focus. So now we know that this thing is working, like what we have, but it's now it's dynamic. I think there's some bug there, but if you look at it, we know that when we hover here, it's going to show, and when we unhover, it's just going to disappear. See? Okay. And another thing that we had on la our last video is to make this happen is when we hover here and when we move our cursor here, we want that to stay, right? So now we have to put that condition there, which is this group here. Another one is do this every time when the group the subgroup is hovered we want to display that same subgroup we want to display show that group focus right and when we unhover it we want it to disappear, right? So now we're going to create another condition. This is, we're just repeating from the last uh, tutorial, but this is now dynamic data, right? So when this group is, isn't hovered, now we, we want to hide it. Okay. So now we go here, it's, going, it's displaying that thing, and when we go here, it's displaying again, and when we unhover it, it's going to disappear, right? So now we had that step, we're displaying all the menu here. When we hover, it's displaying the submenu, and when we hover here, it's staying, and when we take off the, the hover, it's going to disappear, right? So now the only thing that we have to do is displaying the submenu here. So let's do that. So when I hover here, I want the data here to pass, pass it to this group focus. So, <clears throat> when I hover on the text, which is this one, when I hover on the text, I want to display the list. The submenu. Let's see if this is going to work. Sub menu. Okay, it's displaying the sub menu, but it's not filtering, it's, f it's displaying everything, right? 
for all of them. So now we just have to filter here. Display the submenu in here. We want where is it? That's the repeating group here. We want the submenu, which is the parent. Data source is all submenu filtered. by the parent mm, hold on awesome parents All summon filter add this submenu main is the parent this submenu main is This submenu's main is this submenu. No, that's not it. This submenu's main is this is the one that's I'm really I need to improve my skills here. Filtering data. Uh we might take a lot of time doing this trial and error. But what I want to do is I want to display the constraint is we're displaying here all the submenu, but we're filtering it with that specific main menu of the parent. So what I'm trying to do is filtering it through the Let's see now. Main. This submenu main is, I don't know if that makes sense, but let's see. I want to constraint all this submenu filtering. Current submenu. The repeating group is all submenu filtered. Yep, I'm not sure how to do this. <laughs> Uh, please put it in the comment how to filter this thing. I did this earlier, but now I'm forgetting it. Uh, let me see. We'll dis we are displaying all the without the dis without filtering it. All 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 of them are displaying. So I wanna. Send the data, not all, filtered. I think I can filter it by here. 
is I can filter it so it will send only The sub menus display name is okay, guys. Display name. Let's see if this is gonna work. I filtered it with this sub menus display name is. I don't know if that makes sense. I think we're gonna stop here for now. Let me figure out the how to filter this, but you guys get what I mean, right? Like here, let's let's fix this one thing here though. Because we know that's the superior name. Display icon. I don't know why it's not displaying the icon, which is current submenu. This play. Okay, let me figure this thing out. Uh, put put it in the comment if you guys figure this thing out. I know this, I'm creating this like video, like, you know, just creating them without you. I, I researched them, I practiced them, but now I'm blanking out, okay? I don't want to make this video a little bit longer, but if you guys find out how to filter this part right here, I think we're, we're almost done there, right? I don't know why it's doing this. It's a bug, I think. But if you guys do it like one by one, but if you make it, you're making your mouse faster here, but I think it's just the computer is slow, but you see this part? We just have to filter this and we have to display the icon here. Let me do my research and let me create another video after that to fix this thing. Maybe like a fixed video, but for now let's stop here. Okay, we made this dynamic, we made this dynamic, we just have to filter them and put the icon. Okay guys, thank you.